What's going on guys? It's Ninja Turtle and once again I'm going to bring one more video for the week before uh, we get started on the E3 stuff when I come back. And I want to talk about the possible future content uh, that was hinted at in the story. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, one of the writers for this current epic quest for Wolverine stated on Twitter that there was a, uh, a hint within the story, within the dialogue, of future content that's going to come into the game which i'm very excited about of course i mean i know we're just got the x-men and i'm still excited about that but i want to know what else is coming i've always had my speculations and i will continue to, to have them but i want to talk about this specific update uh this specific hint that uh he was referring to now we don't know what exactly what he was saying but my best guess is that it's this this is a screenshot from the epic quest of the stories this is about halfway through and it's black panther referring to his associates the ultimates now the ultimates if you don't know anything is a comic book series well which originally the ultimates were in the ultimate universe uh, which is different than the normal Marvel Universe and yet that's what they called the Avengers in that universe they were called the Ultimates however the Ultimate Universe is gone and no longer it's it's over with They're it's all killed and dead off there's a few stragglers in the normal universe now but that's not really what we're talking about here the Ultimates series and the Ultimates team in the normal Marvel Universe is a team composed of Captain Marvel Black Panther, Blue Marvel, America Chavez or Miss America, and uh, I always forget her name. It's uh, Photon. She used to be Captain Marvel uh, back in the 70s. They called her that. Um, I can never remember her name. I, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm sorry. I fail you. But uh, she's black. She sometimes had an afro back in the day. She has a much more modern look. Uh, she has a the ability to she's basically pure energy she's a being of pure energy she doesn't even really technically uh, have skin and things like that but she's able to fashion her energy to be in a human like form and she's you know she's still human but technically she's fully energy I'm sorry I feel you that I, I don't remember her name off the top of my head uh, Monica Rambeau there it is haha <laughs> Monica Rambeau I knew I was gonna get it so um, that is the ultimates that is a team they are a problem solving multiversal team that's what they're there for they're not here to stop crime uh, uh, to beat people up on earth that were robbing a bank or even to stop something as uh, like the shocker or electro or anything like that they exist to fix problems within the universe within the multiverse uh, that will either be potential problems in the future or our current problems. So one of the first things that they did is that they actually, uh, as a group, went and said, okay, our biggest problem right now is that Galactus is still around destroying uh, worlds. He's eating worlds and millions and billions of people are dying. So they went and fixed the problem of Galactus constantly being hungry and they took his ship uh, his former ship that he came from when he was you know there's a whole lot of uh, Galactus I'm not gonna get into but when he came from his original universe uh, he had his ship and that ship was giving him sustenance power energy food and they went and repaired that ship restored that ship and gave it back to Galactus and and put him in that ship and then that changed him around so now he doesn't need to consume planets anymore he doesn't need to consume energy in fact his world was switched completely around and he is now instead of the devourer he is the life bringer and he actually restores life he actually brought planets back from uh, being rubble into completely form terraform with life planets and can bring back people from the dead and so on he's the life bringer now his color scheme has changed he's more of a uh, set of purple and blue he's now like a light orange and neon orange and and, and fantastically colored and it's a really cool storyline um, but that's what the ultimates are they exist uh, 
you know on earth but they operate out of the triskelion which is another thing which goes into further within the storyline black panther refers to the triskelion rogue refers to the triskelion so that is both twofold things that's where the ultimates operate out of as well as captain marvel and alpha flight operate out of so captain marvel again uh, she doesn't really fight crime on earth right now she's just um, she she will when she needs to but she's not going to stop a bank robber like spider-man would but she's more of defending the earth from galactic threats aliens and things like that so the triskelion was former base of uh trying to think of it right now uh that had uh agent brand and they were basically shield in space what they operated to protect earth from uh, galactic inter uh, intervention and I, I, i'm mind drawing a blank on what they were called i'm sorry i'll have to look it up again but that agent brand is now referring to captain marvel and alpha flight which was a former canadian team uh composed of sasquatch and puck and and north star and aurora they're now alpha flight in space helping out captain marvel so that's really cool too and i want to see all of that in this game of course i would love to see alpha flight in the game i would love to see what i'm really hoping and, and i was going to make a video especially talking about is america chavez and blue marvel they're two of my favorite characters in all of marvel right now and i'm saving up tier two tickets and and, and mega advance like we're getting as of this recording uh tomorrow we're getting the mega uh advanced ticket uh not today because it has to reset today but on tuesday we're getting the uh mega rank up ticket so i'm saving that for america chavez especially with this hint i'm assuming that america chavez blue marvel and monica rambo are going to be put in the game soon when exactly i don't know so what we have now it's still june we have july which will have the spider-man homecoming update with great assumption you know that's they like to tie into the movie so i expect to see some spider-man characters i expect to see a lot of spider-man villains namely the vulture and possibly shocker and uh hopefully sandman and electro and just give me a whole sinister six is what i really want net marble to do with next month and then some cool spider-man characters like spider woman hello where's jessica drew two years in this game and still no jessica drew uh that's what i'm hoping for next month so the month after that is what we could possibly expect when we could possibly expect to see the ultimates um uh, who knows uh, they could go more X-Men, they can go Fantastic Four, they can go just general Marvel Universe characters, they can go Silver or uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, which are people, you know, people want them. They can go Deadpool, who knows, but I think at some point we're going to see the Ultimates and this storyline hint from Epic Quest, it really solidifies that to me. Now, whether we're going to see Alpha Flight, that's a whole nother thing because are we going to get old alpha flight with vindicator and and, and sasquatch and uh, uh shaman i i don't know i don't know uh are we going to get this current iteration of alpha flight that's helping out captain marvel it seems more likely but still at the same time a lot of people don't read the current comics right now uh there's both a fact of people age and they just don't read comics anymore and the other fact that a lot of people aren't liking all new all different marvel uh, and all of the different titles so if someone were to pick up uh this game and it has oh alpha flight's coming oh i love alpha flight and they see puck and sasquatch not in their normal state they're not they're not in canada they're not in interacting with uh the x-men like they normally would but they're talking about the current events in comic books, it's going to be kind of a turnoff. So that's kind of why you see the X-Men as they are right now. Their current status, uh, their, their costumes, uh, what they look like, and even they're referring to current events in comic books, but they have classic costumes. Cyclops hasn't worn that costume since the, um, the, what, the late 90s, the, what he has in the game now. Uh, 
you know, like there's a reason for this. They put this costume on Cyclops because a lot of people recognize him in this costume uh, because of the popularity of the 90s anime, animated show and the comics at the time. That's why they put him in this costume. He's going to get a uniform eventually. Is either he's going to go Astonishing X Men or is going to go the current one with the X on his face? I don't know. I don't really care either. I just want a uniform. But that's why they went with this look. With Storm, they're probably going to give her her uniform and make it the all white. Or they may do the uh, original. They may do current. I would love for them to do a current. I love her mohawk. But that's why they went with these things, because people don't really read the comic books as much as they want to reference those in the storyline. They're not reading a lot of comic books right now, so they have no idea what they're looking at when they see all of these all new, all different Marvel costumes and all new, all different, uh, uh, let's see, Ghost Rider. A lot of people don't know. All new, all different uh, Crystal. Nobody knows. Like, most people didn't even know that she cut her hair. Like, she cut her hair. She doesn't have long locks anymore. So stuff like that. No one knows who Inferno is. No one knew that uh, who Moon Girl is. Like, she replaced Moon Boy. Moon Boy died a terrible death at the beginning of Moon Girl number one. And she just kind of replaced him uh, with Devil Dinosaur. Not that anybody knows who Moon Boy is anyway. But that's what I expect... Uh, coming forward with marvel let me know what you think in the comments one did you know who moon boy is let me know in the comments uh below because i would be curious to know if you knew who moon boy is and if you knew who moon girl is uh prior to this game coming out and just let me know what you think about the future content the future direction the marvel future fight uh in the comment section below make sure you subscribe for more videos i'll be back from e3 on thursday actually friday morning and hopefully i'll spend some time over the weekend going over all of the things that i learned the games that i played my impressions i'll let you know uh how i feel i believe marvel future fight is going to be at e3 uh, so I will definitely check them out if they are there and see what they have to say. Uh, maybe I can ask them directly about the Ultimates. Um, that would be awesome. And I will see you guys next week when I get back. Later.